booktube, this is Freddie Reads. I got my ticket for the long way round. I am going to have a very relaxing weekend, and here's why. You can see all around me that this is my kitchen floor, and I'm getting ready to lay this ceramic tile back here. And in order to do that, you have to put down cement board, which is kind of a waterproof kind of backing that you have to put down. And you have to screw it in. And I've been working with my drill, and I have wrecked my shoulder in the process. This muscle right here is, it hurts to move my arm. So I don't have a sling here. Oh well. Anyway, I'm going to have some time to sit down and relax. So, you know, good things can come from injuries. So, here's what I'm reading this weekend. I have Butterman Time Travel by P.K. Horezo. This book has grabbed me straight away. It is YA time travel. And, well, first of all, I love the main character because she's kind of snarky but not in a bad way. It's got a little bit of science and technology and government regulation thrown in and protocol. It's just kind of cool. So I'm hoping that it continues along the vein it has because I'm only about 30 pages in, but I really like it. So I really want to get this read this weekend. Also in print, I have A Want So Wicked, and this is by Suzanne Young, who also wrote the program and the treatment. And this is book two in the A Need So Beautiful series. I read that, oh, I don't know, like a week and a half ago, last week, I don't know. But I really liked it, and I don't think this is available on audio, or clearly I would be listening to it. And I like the way that the story is going. I'll tell you more about it when I do a wrap-up, but anyway, kind of a cool book. And then on audio, I'm finishing up Three by Kristen Simmons. I love this book. I love this book. It's YA dystopian. I have only about an hour left to listen, and I'm kind of sad to see it end. This is book three in the Article 5 trilogy. I liked the first book okay. I liked the second book better, and I love this book. You know Lauren Oliver's uh, YA trilogy, Delirium? I hated the last book in that series. I hated it. And this is that book done right. I don't know. I'll tell you more about it in my wrap-up, but oh my gosh, I really like it. Also this weekend, because I have time, I am going to relax a little bit and watch a movie. Now see, I never watch movies or TV anymore because I never have time. So I went to Redbox and I got Draft Day with Kevin Costner. I like him a lot and um, yeah, I thought that looked interesting. I also want to catch up on my TV shows, one of which is The Last Ship with Eric Dane. And uh, so I'm behind watching that, and then also Extant, which, you know, has a lot of really great actors in it, but I'm not sure if it's badly written or badly directed, but one of the two. So, I don't know, I'm behind on that, uh, but not very much, so there's that. And then I still haven't seen The Giver, and so I may just go to the theater and watch that, because, you know, I love movie popcorn. Also, after I finish three on audio, I'm going to pick up uh, Retribution Falls by Chris Wooding. That's book one in the Tales of Ketty J series. And my good friend Estelle over at Automenta said that I would love it. It's Pirates in Space, and it just sounds like a wonderful, wonderful kind of departure from all that new adult contemporary that I read. And speaking of that, I am going to go to a book signing on Sunday. It's the Atria authors, and they are Colleen Hoover, Jamie McGuire, and Abby Glines. I have some books that I've gotten, and I want to get signed, so looking forward to that on Sunday. Hey, if you live around here and you're going to go to that, let me know, because maybe I can say hello. So that's my weekend. What are you reading this weekend? I would love to know, and I would love to know if you've read any of these things or are going to, what you think about them. You know, I always want your opinion. So let me know in comments and that's it for now for me i will see you next time have a great weekend I'm thanks gone. for watching I'm gone. you're gonna miss me when i'm gone you're gonna miss me by my walk you're gonna miss me by my talk oh you're gonna miss me when i'm gone